So therefore, we, we now define something called the ensemble average. So how do you define the ensemble average? Let us say um, A is a thermodynamic quantity and we want to get the ensemble average of A. So the ensemble average is usually depicted as this within uh, bracket and ensemble. So ensemble average of a thermodynamic quantity A can be expressed as drn where r as I said the uh, coordinates of each constituent um, in the system and n is number of particles dpn so I, I, I need to have two integral one for r one for p um, and then a this this a r n p n is basically the instantaneous value of a in each microstate and then we should have uh, we should have the rho r n p n where rho is called the probability density so uh, rho is the probability density and this rho can be defined as e to the power minus h r n P n divided by k t again k is the Boltzmann constant divided by q. Here, uh, here h is the total energy, which is the Hamiltonian of the system. Hamiltonian of the system, which is the total energy, is equal to um, kinetic energy plus the potential energy of the system. So H is nothing but the total energy of the system. And Q is the partition function. Q is the partition function and that Q is, Q can be written as GRN dpn e to the power minus h rn pn by kt. So this is the partition function q. And so basically when you take the ensemble average the concept is very similar what we have seen in the Boltzmann statistics but how we improved on here in the ensemble average is that when we take uh, H so we have the interparticle interactions as we'll see uh, later so interparticle interaction has been introduced in our formalism through the potential energy so through this U uh, and then to H, the Hamiltonian, we have introduced the interparticle interactions uh, into the system, into our, into our uh, uh, calculations. Um, so uh, that is one advantage. And number two is now we do not have to look at the 10 to the power n uh, degeneracy that every state um, in the quantum system will have. Now, instead of looking at the quantum states, we are basically looking at each of the microstates as I defined here uh, and each of the microstate is basically defining the different conformation of my uh, molecule of interest or my biomolecule or my liquid molecule of interest. And so 
basically by ensemble average we are since if you look at it we have this uh, probability density term uh, and this probability density term is basically uh, giving the uh, taking the importance of the conformations which are occurring more frequently than the others for example here out of many conformations that uh, that uh, occur here you can see that some of the conformations like this one uh, they are occurring much more frequently than this particular conformation and therefore when you take the ensemble average you will get the uh, microstate uh, which occur more frequently uh, having a greater contribution in the ensemble average and that was again um, the definition of partition function what Boltzmann statistics uh, provided so basically we have the same concept here it's just that we have now get rid of the ideal uh, we, 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 we just now introduce the interparticle interactions and also now instead of the quantum state we can just look at the microstates in terms of the different distribution uh, or different conformation of my molecule now if you look at uh, the definition of ensemble average and we have the integral and it implies that uh, to get the ensemble average we need to generate enormous number of microstates as they appear in the ensemble so when you talk about a one liter of water or when you talk about the conformation of the biomolecule the biomolecule or the water can have enormous number of microstates because the molecules are always in moving so it is actually uh, very difficult rather impossible to capture all possible microstates in an ensemble because the number is just infinite so instead of uh, um, going for ensemble average a simpler definition of taking the average is time average So, in the time average depiction, um, instead of uh, looking at, instead of waiting for all possible microstates, we basically take the average of average over all those microstates which we can capture within a stipulated time. And so, according to this uh, time average, we can define a time as limit t tending to infinity meaning uh, our time uh, should be large enough so that uh, we can cap capture as many possible microstates um, uh, as we can and then we can basically uh, limit t tending to infinity uh, 1 by tau and then we have uh, time t is equal to 0 to tau a the instantaneous quantity um, rn at time t pn at time t and dt which you can further simplify as 1 by m sum over m is equal to uh, t is equal to 1 to m and a r n t p n t so what this implies is where m is number of uh, microstates or conformations so basically time average is saying that within your within our stipulated time whatever number of conformations 
or microstates we have captured. So, conformations um, in the context of uh, biomolecules. Uh, so, uh, um, so, time average is basically take the average of the property of interest which is A uh, um, over the number of conformations we have captured in that time frame. So, time average uh, is basically a finite quantity, but here the catch is this time. So, longer the time we take more and more number of microstates we will be able to capture and therefore, our time average will be very close to the ensemble average. On the other hand, if we uh, do not uh, consider many more microstates, there is a possibility that we are uh, neglecting uh, the microstates um, uh, which might occur at a later, later time uh, with more uh, probability or proportion. So, uh, when our time uh, is long enough, the time average and ensemble average should converge. So, a situation where my ensemble average is equal to time average, this situation is called the ergodic hypothesis. This is called the ergodic hypothesis, where ergodic the scientist said that um, explore your system for a long enough time and then your time should be almost equal to the ensemble average because ensemble average is the um, ultimate target where we should um, we should explore all possible microstates and then if we take average over all the microstates uh, we get the um, exact average value uh, of the thermodynamic quantity a